Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls. Last time when we left off we were making our way through the Adjudicator Archstone and I got to uh, upgraded my Crescent Falchion to level 3 and killed the man-eater last time, that was the big one, and uh, parked myself outside a room where I saw Patches the Hyena. So I believe we have a trap of sorts coming up. We'll deal with it. That's what we do. I seem slightly down tonight. The avalanche just finished choking their way out of the The year we were supposed to win the Stanley Cup. I let myself think they actually would. Big mistake. And so it goes. Sports is a heartbreaking mistress. All right. Oh, here we are. What's up, Patches? Oh, hello again. Hey, don't turn a cold shoulder. I didn't mean to do you wrong. Really? Come on now. We've got better things to fret about. That pit there is filled with treasure. But, uh, I can't get to it myself. Go on. Have a look. It's more riches than I've ever dreamed of. What's keeping you? Have a look at that treasure down in the pit. Then we'll work out a way to fish it out. <laughs> Chris Blade for now, so this just circles back to the main room. I already got the treasure out of this stairwell, so let's go ahead and oh, cutscene. <laughs> Don't hold it against me, eh? Take your time, starving to death. Then I'll sell every last trinket off your corpse. <laughs> That's a douchebag right there. Three crescent moon grass. That's a black phantom. Over there. That's two shards of dark moonstone. That I like to see. Who are you? Heavens, did you fall for that little devil's trap? Well, I did the same. He fooled me, and now I am stuck here. The reverberations seem to suggest that we are connected to the outside. But dark, fearsome souls stand between us and freedom. But have no fear. God will cleanse us of evil. Pray with me, Umbasa. Hmm. Heavens, well, the reverb, but dark, but have pray with me, Umbasa. All right. So I guess we got to deal with the Black Phantom. Wolf. What's up there? I'll worry about it later. I wrecked him pretty thoroughly, if I do say so myself. Three chunks of dark moonstone and a stone of ephemeral eyes. I think that actually uh, gives me enough to upgrade my crescent falchion to four. Oh, it's you. Did you cleanse the world of another dark soul today? God has chosen you, and for that we are thankful. Umbasa. God has cho- Umbasa. That is Saint Urbane. Uh, we can't get that treasure until we come back with pure white world tendency. But I guess...
I think it's worth it to go ahead and run back to World 2 and upgrade my Crescent Falchion to level 4. There's an unknown soldier soul. Hey, douchebag. What up? You, you. Hey, look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Well, I mean, a man's got to make a living, right? Here, look. I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. I know. Here, take this as a token of my friendship. You've seen one of these before, surely. A ring of gash resistance. I have seen those before. I think. Maybe not. Let's have a look. Raises resistance against bleeding. A soft ring bearing a bright red seal increases resistance against bleeding. Made by Jerry, a friend of Sage Freak the Visionary, who is known for his magical handicrafts, the seal's design is a fissure. I actually don't think I've seen that before. <laughs> Come on! Let's be friends! What do you say? No need to drag each other down. No need to drag each other. This is one of those secret paths, you can see it shimmering. Two shards of blade stone. Seen that coming. Fucking storm beasts. A storied soldier soul. Let's regenerate a little more. Let's just back up and regenerate more health, because whoa. Whoa. There's a crystal lizard out here that it's imp pretty imperative I successfully kill. Because it drops a pure dark moon stone that I will need to upgrade my crescent falchion to level 5. I need those storm beasts out of the way. 
All right, let's get back out there. Where are they? What is the deal with the range on my spells? I just can't seem to hit these pricks. Soul Ray has better range. I don't think so. Got one of them. That was highly necessary. Thank you. I can't figure out the deal with the range on some of these things. Sure feels dangerous to just go for it. While he's still alive. But on the other hand, I don't really know what choice I have. All right, so that's that's how she goes. Well, let's just go. I feel like as long as I keep moving, I shouldn't get directly tagged. I needed that. Got my chunk of Dark Moon Stone. That's good. Oh wow, we're back up top. With a white bow and 18 white arrows. Oh, come on! Alright, well, let's just go back down. I don't feel like messing with these storm beasts too much more. I have enough stuff for another Crescent Falchion upgrade. And I think uh, we've opened up enough shortcuts. The next place I actually want to go is 
out this door in this room. It makes sense to me to go go ahead and go get the upgrade to plus four. So I'm gonna do that right quick. Just kind of rolling my eyes about the uh, storm beasts. Not a lot I can do though. Put my ring of magical sharpness back on since I'm back at full health. What's up, dude? Yeah, let's just get out of here. So that was a short journey. Secret and touch soul of the mind, key to life's ether. I'm very close. I am here. I feel like if I use some of these, I can probably go ahead and gain another soul level. Thou what was it? Seeketh and touch soul of the mind. I shall erase. I am here. Yeah, let's use these. My unknown soldier souls will be enough to boost me up, which is great. Thou seeketh then touch soul of the mind. Let's take intelligence to thirty two. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be grand, Altauda, main the and then, of course, I need, I think, a thousand souls for the, uh... Sword upgrade, so I'll use one of those storied soldier souls to cover that. Hello again, I'm keeping a... Stockpile Thomas, you may have the Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Take the Shards of Bladestone. Oh, I need more shards of dark moonstone, don't I? The white bow. A long bow made of gnarled wood. With two intertwining strings, it is a legendary weapon said to be impossible for a human to handle. It has, extre has an extremely long range. White arrow. A gnarled wood arrow. This legendary weapon is used with the white bow. Its attack power is extremely high. Ranged attacks require that both a bow and arrows be equipped. Give him the ring of gash resistance. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. I remember to actually give him the. Nope, I did not actually deposit the bow and arrows like Hello I meant again. to. I'm keeping a. Take that. Take those. Have a heart. Yeah, I still need two more Dark Moonstone shards. I forgot about those. Got all excited because I had the I had the chunks. Oh. That's okay. I might just farm that Reaper a couple of times and get my shards that way. Yeah, I need two more shards. Which is fine. 
I'm gonna farm that Reaper twice, just because I know it drops shards. Weapon. Weapon upgrades are worth it to me. Oh, Saint Urbane. I should visit him, because I think he uh, appears in the Nexus now. Probably over here with the other god people. Thank goodness. The Lord has not forgotten me yet. For he has reunited me with Saint Urbane. I shall serve him and pray with him. And thus express my faith in God. Mbasa. I plan to bequeath all my possessions to Saint Urbane. My grandfather's articles may contain more miracle stone shards like the one he gave me. It has no intrinsic powers in and of itself, but Saint Urbane can hear the voice of God through it. Oh, I can hardly believe it. The fact that I am helping to save the world. Oh, Saint Urbane. Mbasa. Oh, Saint Urbane. Uh, here's Saint Urbane. The other one's gone. My, you have rescued the Honorable One. I express my deepest gratitude. You have relieved me of a great onus. Oh, thank God. Mbasa. Talk to Patches again, too, while I'm here. If Lord back, the magicians will have to watch themselves. Thanks to his holy miracles, you brave battlers of demons will no longer be solely dependent on dark magic. Isn't it wonderful? Surely the demon slayers have awaited such an opportunity. Do you have any connection to Patches the Hyena? I trust not. He is a depraved, vile man, and he deserves no allies. I hope that an outstanding hero such as yourself is selective when making associations. By the way, I highly recommend the companionship of the jovial sage Urbane. <laughs> Have you heard the rumors about Astraea of the Valley of Defilement? Lots of they claim dialogue. that she and her royal knight have become demons and lead a clan of degenerate miscreants. In truth, the rumors are surely unfounded. There are all sorts of wrongdoers down there who would think up such nonsense. Yet if the rumors are true, then may she be eternally damned for her debasement of the Lord's name. Yet if the rumors... Then may she... Thanks to you, I was able to seek refuge in this Nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the heroes facing the demons. If you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons, then bring me demon souls. I will cleanse them and perform a miracle with their power. Interesting. Heal, a very elementary miracle. Okay, so we've read some of these. Or have we? I don't think I've read the miracles yet. Heal, a very elementary miracle. Recovers the user's HP. A simple expression of God's power. Holy warriors call upon this miracle during their lonely journeys. Recovery, colorless demon soul times three. Miracle from a primeval demon soul. Greatly recovers the caster's HP. In order to combat evil, God endowed mankind with special power. Antidote, 3000, a very elementary miracle, cures the user of poisoning. Cure, wriggling demon soul times one. Miracle from the demon leechmonger's soul, cures the user of any status ailments. This miracle is a countersign against the poison and disease that has accumulated in the filthy valley floor. Regeneration, swollen demon soul times one. Miracle from the demon adjudicator's soul, Recovers the user's HP a little at a time. This miracle is a countersign against the pagan adjudicator who devours deep humans. Evacuate. 
a new miracle found in Boletaria sends the user back to the Nexus. The Nexus binds powerful souls. This miracle harnesses that power. Hidden Soul, a new miracle found in Boletaria, hides the caster's soul, making them harder to be detected by black phantoms. The black phantoms that prowl the land of Boletaria are extremely dangerous and are the enemies of god and man alike. God's Wrath, Dragon Demon Soul times one. Miracle from the Demon Dragon God Soul generates a strong blast of force around the caster. This miracle represents the power of God against tremendous malice. It is one of the greatest miracles aiding all who are righteous. Fascinating. Ah, Astraea of the Valley of Defilement? I'm not sure, but Saint Astraea of the West was accompanied by the knight Garl Vinland. She would never turn to evil with that upstanding knight to guide her. Surely it is mere slander. Sadly, the weak are prone to such backstabbing. Vito, the Moonlight Knight, Resire of Isterel, and Selan Vinland. Many honorable knights have ventured into Bolataria in search of the Valley of Defilement. The vicious rumors about Astraea offend our most basic sense of respect for God's name. However, none of these great knights has made it back. Could it be that the wretched valley is so infested with grime that even our Lord's voice does not resonate there? Or perhaps it is the fate of those left behind by God. If you truly are a disciple, then you must have a talisman in God's image. Heavenly miracles occur in Boletaria through the talismans. God has granted this accursed land with a special power. It is God's way of telling us we must stand up to the demons. After the dark art spread across the land, Holy miracles were witnessed once again. The will of God is clear. We must defeat the demons, annul the curse of Boletaria, and purge the evil magicians who manipulate those accursed souls. As you know, souls are a source of evil power emanating from the demons. King Alant was overcome by a lust for such power, and has placed Boletaria in her present predicament. Old Freak and the Candle Maiden are no exception. We must defeat the demon and purge. All right, finally. Yes, I see. I certainly cannot force you to do anything, but you must remember this. A demon soul is a source of evil power. All right, buddy. Why do you want him so bad? Let's chat with Patches. Since we did see and deal with him again. Wow, well, we've been long. Yeah, no, I'm complete. Aren't you proud? Nothing new. Well. I want to make sure I've looked through all of Sage Frake's spells. That's the thing I feel like I might have forgotten to do. Since I did just look at all of St. Urbane's miracles. Bravo! I cannot to have my wit. Thank you. As promised. Yeah, fireball. Spell from the demon Dragon God's soul. Shoots a ball of fire and generates an explosion. Born from dragon bones soaked in lava, this demon was the embodiment of the power inherent in the colossal flames. We saw that. Poison cloud. Spell from the demon Leechmonger's soul generates a cloud of poison. That's all of them. Alright. Nice. I am fully prepared. I can st <clears throat> Okay. Let's head back in there. Uh, I know we're already at 30 minutes. I'm kind of sorry about that. Not really. I feel like what we're doing is worthwhile. I'm going to farm that Reaper a couple of times in order to get 
the dark moonstone shards I need to uh, upgrade my crescent falch into level four. Once that's done, I'll get down to the next exit I want to take and probably call it a call it an episode from there. Shard of Dark Moonstone. Very nice. Let's make that demon. Re let's make that Reaper respawn. Just roll back to the Archstone. Easy peasy. Out and back one more time. Probably two more, actually. Lag does make me nervous. Every fucking time. buddy. Alright. Okay, I can get my... Now I can take my Crescent Falch into level 4. Damn it, I am gonna upgrade the one weapon I get to upgrade. <laughs> Pro tip. Give Blacksmith Ed the Flame Lurker Soul. <laughs> Don't make my boneheaded mistake. I mean, it was particularly boneheaded. I give myself a little credit because it's not like the game tells you at any point that you need to take that particular soul to Ed in order to unlock advanced upgrades, but man, that was rough. Oh well, it is what it is. We're off to see Ed. It does seem like if I ever do want to farm souls off screen, that'd be the place to do it. Just run in there, kill that reaper over and over again. It's 
up, bro. What if it be a blacksmith? Take it to level four. All right, for five, I need six shards, five chunks, and one pure. All right. Well done. And we got a one. Very cool. For level four, five is actually the maximum. getting on 40 minutes in this one. I'm also told that uh, raising my Crescent Falchion with my magic stat as boosted as it is, I'm obviously not terribly inclined to actually get into toe-to-toe -to -toe combat, but if I do, I think it's a very powerful melee weapon at this point. Because the Crescent modifier that I have now boosted all the way up to level 4 actually ties the weapon's melee damage to my magic stat instead of strength, as would usually be the case. Most excellent. And there's another shard of Dark Moonstone. Let me refill my health right quick. The old Regenerator's Ring. Actually, hit these clean. Five half moon grass. There's an unknown soldier soul. There's a couple of shitheads taking pot shots at me. Oh boy, silver skellies. My least favorite. skeletons. You know, I think that's a pretty good stopping point. Uh, <laughs> we'll pick it back up uh, in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching Let's Play Demon Souls. If you enjoy my videos, please hit like and consider subbing to the channel. If you want to discuss this or any of my other content, the link to my Discord, the best place to do so is in the video description. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, the link to my Patreon is also in the video description. Uh, Patreon supporters get to nominate and vote for the games you would like to see me play. And I really just thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.